Hey guys, it's Marcos Vegas, and I'm here at the La Habra Boxing Club being joined with cut man extraordinaire, Mr. Dave Martinez, the uh, patriarch here in La Habra. And we're gonna show you one way to wrap your hands, because I know there's a multiple, multiple, blah, 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 multitude of ways <laughs> to wrap your hands. I can't even talk right now, Dave. No, it's terrible. Yeah. I've had a long day. <laughs> so, uh, Dave, too. there is many, many ways of, of wrapping hands, of but this is uh, your way. So this we're gonna go ahead and show uh, our viewers your way of wrapping a, a fighter's hands and, and what's it important to look out for when you're wrapping hands. Well, the important part is to get the metacarpals. Uh, make sure that they're tight enough. And uh, so, of course, if you're gonna break anything, it's usually the metacarpal or else a pair of the knuckles. And then in the knuckle area, usually you have to be careful there because uh, those areas will more likely be uh, to cut. Usually you don't get hurt from the wrist because if you tape it good and you tape around the wrist and the hand, you're less likely, less likely to injure the wrist, but you still have to support the wrist, okay? So let's start from, uh, uh, put your hands out, you kind of pull the fingers out, make sure it's a little bit up here, the wrist is up, and we'll start. What I like to do is to go away, uh, clockwise, away from the, uh, from the inside and wrap on the outside. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping outside, make sure it's not too low, but almost about, uh, let's say about six inches away from the, uh, from the wrist area here. I'm going around with your hand open. If you notice, the hand is open. I'm going about two or three times around the, around the knuckles, back down, and then I go around the thumb. Notice, everything's on an open hand, with an open hand. What I do now is to make the padding. What I like to do is to have the pad so it covers almost halfway up the, uh, uh, from the metacarpals here, from the knuckles to the metacarpals, and tighten it down. So what you want to do is tighten it down. Again, notice that the hand is open. And what I try to do is to secure it, bring down the pad, and secure the pad. Secure the pad here. How thick can the pad be? It could, uh, they usually, it, it, everyone differs. Uh, in the amateurs, it's not as much pad. In the professionals, you want to have the pad. What, uh, what I like to, what some people do, is they make a, a fist, make a fist, and what they like to do is they like to go around here, and I'll do that for, for our purposes here. Okay, make sure it's secure and comes far enough where it does protect the knuckles. So if it's secure, I put pressure here, around it, go again, put direct pressure, secure it, bring it back up, open the hand halfway, Open the hand halfway, secure it here, so it has a real nice pad. Open the fingers up a little bit, there you go. And secure the thumb, and bring it back down. Again, notice that the hand is open. What you try to do is to cut it off here. Again, with the hand opening, there's many different types of tape. Uh, it's the war tape, usually a lot of people start using it now because it's tighter, it's a tighter, uh, tape the kind that you get otherwise or a thinner tape and it uh, they don't uh, it, it, it secures but it doesn't secure, uh, the, uh, the tape will will separate or else if it's wet it won't stick as well again I tape around the wrist as such cut so now, you taped around the wrist what like four four or five times four, four or five times yeah. around because I'm going to go over it again but for right now to secure it to get in between the knuckles I'm using that so if you notice I I secure the, the hand here. I yes, I do have a smiley face on my forearm yes. for some reason. <laughs> and then you turn it around <laughs> and you make a fist. And then you come down and secure it again. So it acts kind of like a, the tape acts kind of like a supporting yeah, tendon. Yeah, it's supporting because what you want to do is you want to have space here so you can open and close your hand more easily. And again, turn it around, make a fist. You secure it. There you go. Again. Secure it. What you like to do is to keep that tape far enough underneath so it doesn't separate. So here it's tight enough. You can even bring it on the other side to secure the, uh, the tape a little bit more. Make a fist and you come down. And you make the fist so it doesn't become real tight when you make a fist. So here when you make the fist, it's just enough where... Yeah, I don't feel like it being super tight exactly, on my thumb exactly. or any of my uh, fingers exactly. actually. And what you try to do here is you, if I can get the tape here, is you 
go around. Again, you go away from the, uh, from the middle and we make a fist. What you try to do is to now, you tighten it as much as you can and then you, you're, you're gonna have to have a little space. Open your hand. You have to have a little space, let's say about a half inch here because a lot of times they'll, um, uh, the inspectors will say, you know what, it's too high. So what you try to do is to take half an inch from the knuckles, make a fist, open, make a fist. Again, you're securing it. If you don't make a fist and you, and, 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 and you secure here, it will become too loose. So what you try to do is secure it again, the fist going all the way around as such. Now, what you try to do now is you try to secure the rest of the hand by again, going away from the hand and then you secure the thumb and then you make a fist and there you secure the thumb as such. Now, this area here that's not, that's not covered with the, uh, the, the exposed gauze, let's cover that up. So you make a fist again and again you cover this area here going toward the thumb, again toward the thumb. So here you're covering the area of the exposed gauze. Now, the plan B would be to open the hand and then you close it, close the hand. So again, you make that tight fit and again, you secure it. You secure it again. Now, what I like to do is to make sure that the, that the metacoppers are secure or that they don't break or anything as such as to make, make a fist again. It should go a little bit, go over it again. Make an X, make an X. And when you make that X, you're securing that that X bike, make open the hand, close, and you're going back down again to secure the metacarpals, okay? So it's very important to secure the metacarpals. Open the hand again, you close the hand, and you secure the wrist again. So you go over the wrist again. This is the last stage of it, secure the wrist. And so, turn it around. What you're trying to do now is to make the hand where you can have a good, a good close to it. So what you try to do is the exposed gauze. You just work it out and make sure that the hand is, is not suffocating itself by, by going this way. So it's open hand. Okay, turn around. And you pull it, pull it so you can have a little bit more of a fist. And that's your, that's your ramp. Make a hand, turn it around. Here you have a space so you can, you know, make an open and closed hand. And again, that is a wrap that I use. Again, everyone uses different type of wraps. Uh, some people go 20, 30 times around. There's really no set way of doing it. Everyone has their own way. But this is, uh, this is the way that I do it, make a fist. And make sure that it's evenly balanced here. The gauze is even, turn it around, and there you go. That's, uh, there's, I'm going to show you another way that some people do, is some people, what they try to do, if I can get some of this tape out, what they do, make a fist, is secure the wrist a little bit more by going this way, securing it here, securing it here, and securing it here, and then you cover it up again. It doesn't matter if it goes clockwise or counterclockwise because you're just, you're just covering up the wrist. And there you go. So that's a little more secure when you, when you do halfway because you're trying not to you know, get the, uh, the circulation. It's very important to get good circulation. So uh, I'm not really tying it here, but I'm really tying it on top so the wrist is more secure as such. Okay, that's it. That's how you wrap your hand, the Dave Martinez special. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, thanks so much. Okay. I really appreciate it. Let me take it out. <laughs>